Hi guys, my name's Leon and this is Anita and today we're going to take you through Pack 45 Scout. Scout is one zone, 10 exercises with three rounds. The exercise selection is a mixture of cardio and strength and for this workout you will need a pair of dumbbells. Only for a selection of the moves. If you don't have dumbbells you can use water bottles as a replacement or anything that can add additional resistance guys. But before we go into our main workout, we need to do our warm up. Let's do this. Okay, guys, the warm up. The warm up consists of four warm up moves. Okay, we're going to repeat them for two rounds, all right? The first move that we got on this one, we got jogging on the spot, guys. We're simply going to move the legs, small movements in the upper torso, just to get the bloody moving, okay, and the blood flowing, all right? So this is just a warm up, guys. Take your time, progress through, and slowly elevate that heart rate, get us ready for that main workout. All right, let's go. Good. Drive those knees up, small rotation of the torso. Get the upper body moving at the same time, guys, come on. Good, come on, push. Come on, keep it moving. Good, right, that last buzzer, and relax. Next one, guys, we've got squats with a hold. So our feet's gonna be shoulder width apart, hands together, squat down, hold at the bottom, come back up to the top, guys, all right? Let's go, hands together, squat down, come up, good. Get a hold, come up, good. Back down, up, good. Nice, good controls, hold the tension, up, nice. Push back on the hamstrings and glutes, good. Bring those hips forward as you come down, good. Come on, keep it moving, up, nice. Push back, good, and recover. All right guys, next one that we got, forward arm rotation. Nice big circulations of the arms, coming forward, and then we're gonna go into backwards arm rotation halfway through. Starting with forward first guys. That's it. Loosen those arms. Nice big circulation. Good. On my countdown, we're going to go backwards. Three, two, one. Rotate back and out. Come on. Nice and big. Good. Use that space. Control the arms. Come on, push. Good. And recover. Next one, guys, we've got jumping jacks, okay? Feet together, arms up, nice and big. Get that body moving, elevate that heart rate. Ready? Let's go. Come on, push. Come on, push. Come on, and relax. Well done guys, so we're back to exercise number one, jogging on the spot, same as before guys. Ready? Let's go. Come on, push. Drive the knees up. Move that torso, guys. Come on, push. Good. Come on. And recover. All right, guys. Back to the squats with those holes, all right? Legs nice and wide. All right. Ready? Hands together. Let's go down. Hold. Up. Good. Back down. Push those buttons back. Up. Hips coming forward. Come on. Good. Up. Nice. Back down. Come on. Up. Good. Back down. Come on. That's it. Get those holes. Keep the tension on the hamstrings and glutes. Good. Push the bottom back. Good. Come on. And relax. All right, guys. Next one, we've got forward arm rotation. And then we're going to go into backwards ones on the countdown. All right. So take your time. Move those arms nice and big. Let's 
Let's go forward. Good. Relax the arms. Circle it nice and big, guys. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's reverse. Good. Go up and out, guys. Come on. Nice and big. Good. Come on, push. Last few seconds. And relax, okay. Final one, guys, jumping jacks, okay? Nice and big with those arms. Get those legs moving out, all right? Nice and wide. Elevate the heart rate. Yeah. Come on, push. Come on, keep moving. Come on. Good. And relax. Well done, guys. That's the warm up complete. Let's go to the main workout. The main workout, guys. Okay. So, for the first exercise that we have, we've got dumbbell toe touches. Okay. So, we're going to place the dumbbell on the floor. Okay. He's standing the dumbbell in front. We're simply just going to alternate between each of our feet, getting those toes, touching those dumbbells. Nice, good controls on the feet, all right? It's gonna raise the heart rate, let's go. Good, take your time. Touch each corner of the dumbbell. Nice, good coordination. Just small little touches. So with these ones, okay? We're simply just touching each side of the dumbbell with each of our toes, all right? Keeping the heart rate elevated. Just getting us ready and putting us in the right zone to make us all the way through the workout, okay? Simple move, guys. Remember, you don't have to do it so fast. You can always slow it down one at a time just so you get the coordination. Once you get the coordination, pick it back up, okay? Good, come on. Keep moving. Come on, push. Come on, last few seconds. Good. Kick him out. Good, and recover. All right, guys. Place the dumbbell away, second exercise, okay? So we're gonna come from a kneeling position, okay, come down, come up, touch jump, okay? Kneeling, squat, into touch jump, all right? So we're going for take your time, get down. Ready? So come down into that kneeling position, stay upright, come back up, good, legs together, touch jump, good. Back down, good, stay upright, come back up, Good. So with these ones, guys, take your time whilst getting into that kneeling position. Keep the torso upright for your touch jump. Come up, drive those knees up. If you can't get the touch jump in there, just simply just jump off the ground, guys. Come up to the top, small little jump, all right? Take your time with this one. So come down, good. Keep up, good. Then back down, come on. Come up. Good. Back down. Come on, keep it moving. Big. Good. And recover. Well done, guys. Next exercise, jack press, okay? So, you can use a dumbbell or just use your body weight. Simply gonna push out as we jack out, guys, okay? Nice, good jack presses, all right? Body weight or with a dumbbell, guys. This is a cardio-based move. Up to you, okay? Ready? Let's go. That's it, nice big pushes, good. So if you're not using the weight, just simply punch out those arms. As we jack out, the arms are coming forward, okay? Good. So with this one, again, cardio focus, okay? Getting the heart rate elevated again. So we're gonna alternate between a strength-based exercise and a cardio exercise. This one's gonna allow us to keep the heart rate elevated. So we've got the intensity in the workout, okay? The legs are keeping moving, they're fired up. The arms are working with that press of that dumbbell or the press of your fist, guys, all right? So just keep it moving, come on. Good. Come on, push. Last 10 seconds, come on, push. Good. Come on. Come on, keep it moving. Good. And recover. Well done, guys. 
Next one, we've got pogo jumps into squat drops. Two pogo jumps, nice big squat drops, guys. All right, that's the next exercise. We got this. Take your time. Woo. Remember, 53 seconds. Let's go. Pogo jumps, nice and light on the toes, down. Come on. So with your pogo jumps, guys, it's simply just like as if we had a skipping rope, keeping nice and light on the toes, and then we're dropping down into a squat drop, okay? As we come into a squat drop, we're coming into a squat drop, both of our hands are coming down, touching the ground, then we're back up again, okay? Good. Nice, good movements, come on. Push. Come on, push. Last few seconds on the clock. Come on. Come on, push. Good. All right, exercise number five. Sprinters run, okay? Simply, gonna come down, run it forward, run it back. Come down, change hands, run it forward. Then run it back, guys. Small amount of distance. Come down to that lunge position, come up, run it back, okay? Let's go. Down, good. Run it up, good. Other side, good. Run it up, nice. Change over, good. Run it back, good, come on. Nice small movements. So the purpose again, guys, elevation of the heart rate, all right? So we're not trying to run off or go anywhere too fast. Simply coming down, Coming back into that lunge, reaching down, driving up, getting a little bit of acceleration and then controlling it, all right? So as you can see here, knees goes back, hamstring, glutes, coming down, glutes, firing it up, quad, upper body, drive, okay? And the elevation of the heart rate through this. Fantastic way to build it up, guys. Come on, last few seconds, good. Keep it moving, that's it, touch it down, run it up. Come on, guys at home, let's keep it moving. Last five, push, good, and recover. Well done, guys. So next exercise, we've got a dumbbell, RDL, so upright row. So with this one, see if you're gonna turn to the side, come down, get a stretch, upright row, guys. Push the bottom back, keep the tension on the hamstrings, upright row, all right? So, take your time. Woo! Breathe, good. Here we go, 10 seconds on that clock. Nice. Come on, doing really well, guys. Here we go. Remember, get the RDLs, push the bottoms back. Good. Push the bottom back, come down nice and slow. Good. Come back up. Not too far. Good. Upright row. Nice. That's it. Push that bottom back. Keep on the hamstrings, get that reach. Good. Upright row. Come on. That's it. Keep the dumbbells close. Reach down, get the stretch on the hammies. Good. Up. Upright row. So with these ones, guys, we're going to really make sure that we put the tension on the hamstrings, okay? So we're slowing it down. We're pushing our bottom back, slight bend in the knees, okay? To maximize the stretch on the hamstrings, okay? Once we feel the pull, we're back up to the top. Dumbbells come to our waist level. From waist height, we then transition into upright rows. As you can see here, keeping the elbows in line, keeping the tension on them shoulders, okay? Nice big row down, come back up, hitting them shoulders, okay? That's what we want. Last few seconds, good. And recover. All right, so the next one, guys. Skater touches, all right? We're simply gonna go from one side, come down, come down, okay? Skater touches, guys. Take the time, swing your body from side to side, all right? Ready? Let's go. Good. Good. Lunge it from side to side, guys, come on. Good, slow it down. Nice. So with these ones, guys, we're simply moving from side to side, reaching down, okay? So we're gonna get that touch, just come down, touch that floor, just a light touch, guys, all right? The key thing is here, is getting that lateral movement. Again, staying in control of the body, keeping ourselves moving nice and smoothly, and keeping the heart rate elevated, all right? So as we come down, we're reaching down, keeping one leg off the ground as we reach down. So the back legs that we sweep is off the ground, guys. That's what we want on this movement, okay? Fantastic little burn off. Get the hammy, get the boots, and out of fire. Come on, last few seconds, good. 
Come on, push it, push it. Nice. And relax, good. Next one, guys. We've got sumo squat with a bicep curl, okay? So you're gonna get your two dumbbells together. Legs wider than a normal squat. Come down, hold it. Bicep curl, come out the curl, come back up, okay? So come down, bicep curl, back out the curl, up out the squat, guys. Sumo squat with a bicep curl. That's the movement, all right? Here we go. 10 seconds on that timer. Let's do this. The legs wider than shoulder width. Dumbbells in the middle. Let's get ready. Come down. Good. Curl. Back out. Back up. Squat down. Good. Curl. Back out. Back up. Come on. Back down. Curl. Come on, that's it. Good control. Squat down. Curl. Out. Up. So with this one, guys, you really want to make sure that your legs are wider than shoulder width, okay? You're in that sumo squat position, okay? So nice and wide. Squat down. Get that bicep curl. Keep that back upright as much as possible. Look for the peak to contract. Once you hit the contraction, come out of the curl and then stand back up to the top. When you come back up to the top, drive those hips forward. Come on, let's keep it moving. Last few seconds, good. Then back down, good. Nice good control, good. And the cover, well done. So now we're going to exercise number nine. We've got a bent knee ankle touch, okay? So down on the ground, all right? Raise the knees up, okay? Hands behind the head, come up, touch those ankles, okay? Nice, good movements, guys. Touch those ankles, all right? So, bent knee ankle touch is the next exercise, guys. 53 seconds on this one. Let's do it. Woo, burning. Heart rates are ready through the roof. On that timer. Ready? Good. Arms back, knees up. Let's go. Come on, touch those ankles. Good, come on. Go. Come on up. That's it, touch the ankle. Okay. All right, let's go guys. Come on up, touch those ankles, good. Get that crunch, keep those knees close together. Good, reach all the way back, come on up. So with these ones guys, Make sure that your knees are at a 90 degree angle towards your chest, okay? Reach back with both of your hands going as far back as possible and reach towards those ankles, okay? This one's a good cardio and core burner, okay? So the cardio element comes back from that vigorous movement. The core element comes back from that front and reaching out those ankles. Last few seconds on these guys. Hold the core tight, brace it, keep it moving. Great, good stuff. All right, next exercise, guys. We've got alternating forward lunges. We're simply gonna come forward, come back up, change over, change that lunge, okay? Alternating forward lunges. That's the next exercise for number 10. We can do this, guys, nearly at the end. Come on, hold it there. On that buzzer, 53 seconds, okay? All right, let's start with that right leg first. Let's come down, let's go down, good. Come back up, change over. Good, get a good start. Keep that torso upright. Change it over, good. Come back up. Nice big steps, guys. Nice. Let's go back to the right leg. Good, good control. And then back up. Nice. So with these ones, guys, we're simply just lunging forward, keeping the torso upright, okay? Making sure that our knees in line with our toes, okay? We're not going too far forward. We're not overreaching it. Good stretch on the hips at the same time because you're lunging into that position. Good dynamic movement there. And also firing up the hamstrings a little bit over the glute there as well, guys. So fantastic to get that stretch out, okay? That's it, just alternate between the two. Keep the tempo, keep the heart rate elevated. Strength element, a little bit of cardio in there as well. Come on, keep pushing, good. Last few seconds, and recover. Next round, we're simply gonna go back to that first exercise, okay? So we've got dumbbell toe taps, okay? Simply tapping our toes on the edge of the dumbbells, okay? So that's exercise number one in round two, okay? Here we go, let's go. Take your time. Good, small little taps with the toes on each side of that dumbbell, guys. Nice, good control movement. And remember, you can slow it down as well. You don't need to go full pelt with this one, guys. You can simply just tap it one side at a time. Good, 
still in control, all right? Still making it work at your pace. Remember, if you don't have a dumbbell at home, you can always use a water bottle or anything that allows you to have additional resistance. And like any of the other exercise moves that we have, if you don't have a dumbbell, just find something that you can use for additional resistance, but safely, okay? So we're gonna get back in. Nice few taps, good. Come on, keep it moving. Good. Remember, the round times has come down, guys. Come on, just push. Good. All right, let's get rid of that dumbbell. So, we've got a kneeling get up to a touch jump, okay? So we're gonna kneel it down, keep the torso upright, come up, touch jump, okay? Take your time with this one, guys. There we go. So come down, kneeling position, stay upright, come up. Good. Back down. Nice. Come up. Come on, working it nicely, guys. Good. Take your time. Nice big steps. Come on. Good. Down. Nice. Go up. So remember, if you need to take out the tuck jump element, guys, you can always take out the tuck jump. All right? So if you come up, just go for the jump. That you simply land your feet safely down, all right? I know top jumps are quite hard because you're driving your knees up very high. Just simplify the jump. Good. And recover. So the next one, guys, we've got jack press, okay? So again, with the dumbbell or without the dumbbell, guys, up to you, all right? So again, we're using it as a cardio based element. So let's keep it moving. If you're not doing it with dumbbell, just punch out. Good. Come on, push. That's it. Get those arms synced up. Nice. Come on, keep it moving. 45 seconds on this one, guys. Let's move. Come on, push. Good. Push. Last few seconds. Nice, and recover. All right, guys, so next one, pogo jumps. Two, down for that squat drop, all right? Next exercise, keep that heart rate up there. Doing it extremely well. Two pogo jumps, let's go squat drop, let's go. Down, good. Come on, push. Nice and explosive. Come on. Push. Stay on them toes, nice and light. Come on. Push those buttons back. Come on. Last one. And we'll cover. Well done, guys. So, sprinters, sprint, all right, good. So we're gonna to touch it down, come up, run it forward. Backwards run, come down, touch the other side, run forward, guys. Are you ready? Let's go. Right it down, run it up, run it back. Left hand down, good. Run it forward, good, come on. That's it, move with that power, guys. Back of pedal, good. Drive it up, keep the heart rate moving. So again, with this one, cardio burner, guys. Touching it down, driving up, chest nice and high, moving through. But controlling the speed, guys. So when we hit the edge of the mat, we hit the brakes. Then we come back, good heart rate raiser. Last few seconds, come on, let's move. That's it, big push, come on. That's it, good, touch it down, drive. And again, well done. All right, guys, so exercise number six. We've got dumbbell RDLs into upright rows, okay, guys? So again, we're simply gonna push the bottom back, okay, get that reach on the hamstrings, come up, upright rows, guys, okay? So take your time on this one, we wanna feel it on the hamstrings, and then we're gonna come into those upright rows, all right? So take the time. Lower the dumbbells down, push the bottom back, slight bend in the knees, reach down, get the stretch, Come up, good. Upright row. 
same again. Reach. Good. Nice big reach. Come on, push. Down. Good. Up. Push those bottom back as far as you can. Get that depth in the hamstrings. Up right row. So take your time with these ones, guys. You really want to focus on coming down nice and low with those dumbbells, getting that pull on that hamstring, then stopping at your waist. Once you stop at your waist, come into that up right row. Good. All right. Well done. Shut the dumbbells back. Now we're going to go to those skaters with the touches, okay, guys? So simply going to go down and across from a side to side, okay? Remember to touch it all the way down, hit the floor, all right? Let's go, let's back first, good. Sweep that back leg, touch it down, good. Move it across, come on. That's it, good. Come on, push back, good. Come on, push, raise that heart rate. So again with these ones guys, we simply want to control the movement, move from side to side, okay? Touch it down, get those hamstrings working. Bring the glutes out as we come down. We hold a little bit of tension on the glute, all right? Touch it down, get a stretch, come back up. Heart rate should still be through the roof. Come on, keep it moving. Good. All right, and relax. Grab back your pair of dumbbells, guys. Sumo squat into bicep curl, okay? So dumbbells in the middle, legs nice and wide. Squat down, bicep curl, come out, come back up, all right? Ready? Let's go. Down, curl, out, up, come on. Good, nice, good control on them biceps, guys. Don't rush them squats, come on. That's it. Good. Really feel like the bicep peaks. So a common way of not of doing bicep curls incorrectly, guys. You don't want to be curling all the way up to the top because you take off the traction off the top of the bicep, okay? So find that peak when you feel the peak and stop at that point, all right? Don't over come up to the top, all right? Nice, good control. We want the contractions all the way through the movement, guys. Come down, curl, take it off. Back out the squat. Back down, curl, back out, up. Well done, all right, guys. Next one, bent knee ankle touches. So back down on the ground, okay? 45 seconds for this one. Knees at a 90 degree angle. Move your chest, arms back. Come on, let's go. Up on his ankles, good. Come on. Nice. Hold it up. Good. Take the time. Try and make sure your knees are close together. Don't create a too much of a wider gap. Keep them nice and close together. Keep them at a 90 degree angle. Bring the arms back. Come up and then touch those ankles. Make sure you lift the upper body off the ground, okay? So my arms go back and they come up. My upper body's coming off the mat, guys. So we've got a mini crunch in there, guys. Come on, let's keep it moving. Last few seconds, good, come on. Keep it going, come on. That's it, big push. Nice, come on. Keep it going. Good, come on, push. And relax, well done, guys. So, next exercise, number 10. Forward and backwards lunges, okay? So, forward alternating lunges. Right leg first, then left leg, okay? Take the time, keep the torso upright. Ready? Let's go, right leg first. Good, get a stretch, come back up. Change over, lean in. Good, same again. Come on, push. So remember, with your lunges, you can have your hands to the side, giving a little bit of support to keep your balance. Or well, if you've got your balance, guys, you can just drop your hands down to the side, okay? Nice good control, hold it, then back up to the top. If you need to have your hands on your hips, you can have your hands on your hips, just to get that extra stability and balance yourself out, okay? Either way, guys, we wanna make sure we're in a good position, maintaining a nice, neutral, upright position on the back, lunge in, and then step it back out in a controlled manner, okay? Last few seconds, keep it moving, good, and recover. All right, guys. So now we move into the next round. So now we're in round three. So the round time comes down to 40 seconds, okay, guys? So we're back with our dumbbell toe taps, okay? So take your dumbbell back on the floor, simply tapping it for each foot, alternating, okay? Take your time, last blast, okay? 
Let's do this last round. It's gonna fly through, so make sure you give it all you can, all right? Woo! Are you ready for this one, Anita? Good, good, good. All right, guys, 10 seconds on that timer, and let's get ready to kick it, all right? Everything you've got, let's burn it out. Here we go. Take your time, let's go. dumbbell so we're into kneeling get up with that tuck jump guys all right so we're gonna knee it into position keep the torso up right tuck jump let's go down good up good Dumbbells or body weight without it, guys. It's cardio move. Let's make it happen. Let's go. Good. jumps the squat drop guys two pogo jumps squat drop all right take your time let's go come on down good remember again break it up guys get the rest get the recovery Get back in. Down. Come on. Big push. Come on, last few seconds. Down. Good. And recover. Okay, sprint is sprint, guys. Lunge it down. Run it forward, okay? Back as pedal on it. Ready? Let's go. Down. Good. Run it forward, run it back, change side. Good. Down. Good. Get that move, guys. Come on, push. Nice. Good control. Up. Raise that chest up as you come up. Come on, last 10 seconds. and recover. All right, so dumbbell RDLs to upright rows, guys. Again, push the bottom back, get that stretch on those hammies, upright row. Ready? Let's go. Come down, push the bottom back, get a stretch, come up, row. Good. Good quality, guys, come on. That's it. Get that stretch. Come up, Whoa. come on, big push, nice, come 
Come on, last few seconds, guys. Quality, keep it controlled. Put down, bend the knee. Good. Good. One more row. One more stretch. Good. And recover. Dumbbells down, guys. We've got skater touches. Okay, we're going to move from side to side. Touch it down, all right? 40 seconds. Let's go. Good. Take the time. Nice and slow. Good. At this point, guys, focus on the breathing, keeping your body on right. Keep that balance in there. Good. Come on. That's it. Come on. Keep it moving. Good. Come on. Good. And recover. Well done, guys. Sumo squat, bicep curls, grab the dumbbells. Woo! Come on. All right. Make that some wide. Let's go. Down. Go. Out. Come on, big push. Keep on the bicep peak, guys. Come on. That's it. Push. One more. And relax, guys. Well done. Woo! Bend knee, ankle touches. Get the dumbbells down. Knees into the 90 degree position. Arms back. Good. Come up. Touch the ankles. Good. Breathe. Take the time. Come on up. Keep those knees close together. Touch those ankles, guys. Come on. Big push. On the back. <laughs> Come on. That's it, keep it moving. Good. Come on, push. Come on. And we come on. Well done, guys. Woo! Last exercise. Alternating forward lunges, guys. Take the time, final burnout. Let's go. Time. Keep that torso upright, get the balance. Step on in. Good. Breathe in between. Hold that position for a few seconds at the bottom. Get the tension. Good. Lean it in. Come on. Good. Come on. Keep it moving. Last few seconds, guys. Well done guys, that scout complete guys. Let's let our heart rate come down and let's go into our cool down. Well done for completing the Pack 45 workout, but before you disappear, guys, we need to go into our cool down stretches. So the first stretch that we're gonna get is a standing hamstring stretch, okay? So we're gonna drive our left leg down into the ground. So using our heels to jig our leg down, we're gonna bend our right leg slightly. We're gonna lean in with our left hand, okay? We're gonna reach the tip of our left toe, okay? We're gonna support our body with our right hand on our right thigh, okay? You wanna point those toes up towards you driving the heel into the ground so we can feel a nice stretch coming up through our hamstrings here, guys. Hold. So the more you push back and your toes are driving forward towards you, the more of the stretch you'll feel, guys. Keep holding. Three, two, one, and relax. Shake off that left leg. So now, guys, 
we're gonna do the right leg, okay? So slight bend in your left leg, right leg down, drive your heels into the ground, point those toes up, reach down, push back, and you should feel a nice stretch coming up from your calf muscles, all up to your hamstring, guys, okay? Just hold. Three, two, one, and relax, shake them off. Okay, guys, next we're gonna go down onto the ground, okay? We're gonna get our glute and hip stretch, okay? So lay nice and flat. We're gonna take our right leg, cross over our left thigh, okay? We're gonna bring both hands through, okay? So we're gonna take the right hand, bring it through the back of our left thigh. We're gonna take our left hand, pull our foot down towards us, and drive those knees towards our chest. Just hold that tension there, guys. So this will allow us to get a hip and a glute stretch at the same time, guys. On my next set of instructions, I want you to increase the stretch by driving your knees closer to your chest. Three, two, one, hold. Three, two, one, and relax. Shake it off, guys. Yep. Okay, so now we're gonna take our left leg, okay? Cross it over our right thigh, pull through the back of our right thigh, use the right hand, pull that toes down back towards us, and hold. So now we should feel this stretch on the left hip and glute, guys. Hold. On my next countdown, we're gonna increase the stretch. Three, two, one, pull back. That's it, hold. Three, two, one, and relax, shake it off. Okay, guys, so up on your feet. Okay, so the next stretch that we're gonna get is an overhead stretch, okay? So, palms of our hands together. We're gonna place them up towards the ceiling, tilt your head back. Push one up, good. That's it, use that space, good. Keep that torso upright as much as possible. Tilt that head back. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, guys, next one that we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna get up about these stretch, okay? As well as the back of our leg stretch. So all we're simply gonna do is we're gonna reach down as far as we can, just so we can feel a pull on our hamstrings, okay? And then we're gonna just hold our tip of our fingertips down as low as possible, guys. So we get upper body stretch at the same time, okay? You can increase the intensity of this by pushing your bottom back so you load a little bit more tension on those hamstrings, guys. But dead the weight in your arms, reach forward and hold. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, guys. Well done for completing the cool down. My name is Leon. This is Anita. That's Pack 45. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. Let us know your feedback if you're enjoying these workouts, guys. We look forward to seeing you in our next venture. To the moon and back. <laughs>